ओके सो द हेडिंग ऑफ द टॉपिक इज लेस एक्सप्रेसियो नेगाटिव लाइक आई वाज गिविंग यू अ ब्रीफ टिल नाउ वी हैव डन अ काइंड ऑफ नेगेशन वेयर वी जस्ट यूज्ड टू मेक द सेंटेंस नेगेटिव आई स्पीक इंग्लिश आई डोंट स्पीक इंग्लिश बट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द एक्सप्रेशंस ऑफ नेगासियो okay this is a very easy topic but it includes a little bit of learning from your end okay you will have to learn the expressions so this is a complete new topic you have never done this before and this is a part of a very big topic which we actually study in class 9 so in class 9 we are going to study a lot of expressions right now we are just studying few expressions of this topic to begin with the very basic rules of negation what are the basic rules of negation to make a sentence negative we add what do we add before the verb no correct what do we add after the verb pa correct this is your very basic rule of negation after that we also know that your any is going to become an apostrophe if verb begins with a if verb begins with a Hmm. Okay. Very very basic rule of la negation, which you are doing from a why. Now the second rule of negation is that whenever you see there is an indefinite article, which means on, yon, de, and whenever there is a partitive article. in partitive you have du you have the la you have des you have del apostrophe all of this and all of this changes to de or d apostrophe in your negative sentence is that clear two basic rules the first rule of negation is that you put na and pa around the verb and the second rule is if there is an indefinite article or a partitive article you change it to de or d apostrophe in your sentence is that clear okay hmm. now also remember this rule the rule of changing Uh, yun de or du de la to d e l apostrophe. This rule is not applicable. Okay, not applicable with verb etro. Okay, just a quick example. Ha, uh, it will remain same. I'm just giving you a quick example here. इलिया दे गार्सो तौल क्लास देर आर फ्यू बॉयज इन द क्लास वेन आई एम आस टू मेक इट नेगेटिव माई आंसर विल बी इल न्यापा द गार्सो आई कीप इट जी ए आर सी ओ एन एस ओनली बट आई मेड माई डी ई एस टू डी ई Now I have a question which says say a garçon or so so de garçon that's also possible when i change this to negative i keep it so ne pa a a a a garçon it's être no okay so here we had the avoir verb but here we had être so this rule of changing everything ha uh, just a second just the rule of changing uh, du de la uh, yum de to de d apostrophe is not applicable with verb et hmm yes ashwin what is the doubt ha huh, but uh, we hardly use uh, partitive article with et because the sentence formation will be wrong but yes if there is then it's going to be applicable contracte uh, contracte is no because even here above i have written no uh, pa- indefinite and partitive with contracte we don't even change it to the the it's going to be same ala au is going to be same 
Okay, any doubt till now, anyone in the basic rules? Then only I'll enter to the main expressions. Okay, I can't. Huh. Hmm, guess what there. Mm hmm. Uh, you and they? Hmm. Hmm. The noun? The verb? No, 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 that's not the case. No. Okay, but it should be that. Okay, for example, uh, uh, whether you see a sentence and then in between you see et and and after that there is a noun, then it's going to be changed. Okay, it should be in the one statement only without any connector. Like here, it is a boy. Okay. I can't any doubt. Okay, so I'm going to enter the first negative expression here. Everyone, please be very attentive. The first negative expression we have is no, Ria. Wherever I'm going to put this dot dot thing, it means here we are going to place the verb. Now, now you have to understand that whenever we are learning a negative expression, like here we are learning Ria, you also have to know that Ria has an affirmative expression. Affirmative means a positive expression. So for example, in your book you will only find one, but I'm going to give you two, three. For example, in your question, you have Kelka shows. Kelka shows means something. Or you have toothless shows. It means everything. If you have any of these two things in your affirmative statement, that is the positive statement, you are going to use Ria because Ria basically means nothing. Hmm. In the you are going to get a question where they will ask you a positive question or they will give you a positive statement and you will have to change it to negative. Now, how are you going to know that you have to use na ria in your answer? You will get to know that you have to use na ria in your answer if you have kelka shows or tutle shows in your statement. Did you get a little bit now? Okay. So, for example, I get a question in my exam and the person asks me, you the Kelka shows. Okay, did you did you tell something? So my answer will be no. Tu will change this to je. No. Je. After je, you are going to write na. Mm -hmm. No, je na. No, 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 no. Why person we are doing Ria? Okay, so we are going to write no. After that, Jana, because D is the verb. Jana, D. And then you will write Ria. So basically, your affirmative expression Kelka shows will be completely removed from the answer and will be replaced by the negative expression. No, Jana, D, Ria. No, you will never reply OE because it's a negation. Okay, Shashwin? Ha, yes, right there. Hmm, right there. Kelka shows and Tutli shows? D, D, I, S. D is like Deer, which means to tell. Or to say. Okay. So did you tell something? I did not tell anything. Okay. Now for example. I will just give, do one more example. For you to understand. For example. Someone asks me a question. Which says. Il. M. Toothle shows. Do they like everything? My answer will be. No, il, nem, ria. 
जी हाँ सो ओके सो माई स्ट्रक्चर इज स्टिल द सेम स्ट्रक्चर दैट आई वॉज यूजिंग इट्स जस्ट नाउ आई हैव रिप्लेस्ड पी ए एस विद रिया एंड हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू नो दैट यू हैव टू यूज रिया इफ इन योर क्वेश्चन यू हैव कैल्क शोज और टूथले शोज इज दिस क्लियर इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द फर्स्ट वन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड ऑल ऑफ दैम इजिली इज दिस क्लियर गेस्ट रुद No, it's going to be same. No, I don't. I know nothing. I don't know anything. It's same thing. It's just my translation that I said. I don't know anything because we have negation. But actually, it means nothing. I, I, I like nothing. It's like that. Okay, but that's not going to make any difference to the placement. Okay. Also, remember the placement. It's verb. uh then the riya okay and before the verb it's any and please by not even by chance right no jana di pa riya pa is completely removed in riya there is no pa it's going to be na where and then riya and how are you going to know that you have to use riya by finding kelka shows or toothle shows in your question in your statement or a question is this clear everyone unmute and tell please tani the whole thing i'm just saying that the placement of riya is going to be after the verb only okay you cannot place it somewhere else in the first one i have placed it after d d i s in the second one i have placed it after a i m e n t or you can also learn it in a way that most of the times it will replace the positive expression like this wherever positive is written in the answer you will just write with the negative okay okay ekansh any doubt are they all clear okay the hand said then is it yes ashwin clear okay hmm ha so c is basically is ashwin for example i asked you don't you speak english so there is a negation in the question and now you want to say yes i speak english so you will say c instead of koi negative question with a positive response just remember that okay i'll i'll do this uh, i'll do interrogation on wednesday you know so i'll do this c u you know okay so the expression we did above was na riya where i was saying nothing the expression i am doing right now is na person which means no one so basically riya talks about things and person talks about people there we had kelk shows and tul tul uh, toothle shows here we have kelka that is someone also it could be yun kelkyun or tulmond we did this with adjective to that is everyone if you see any of these two expressions you are going to use person in your answer just learn this as it is okay so for example someone asks me a question q regard tulmond dollar class did you see everyone in the class but i want to say no i did not see anyone or i see no one in the class so my answer will be no sure no regard person just continue it with dollar class clear understood right i just what did i do i put any before the verb regard and tulmond replaced with person like i told you above that kelka and kelkyun will be replaced with person clear others reply okay now the rule i am going to tell you here i don't know it's given in the book or no but the questions will have these rules so please be very attentive okay i don't say it's confusing but just understand in the first go that the two expressions i told you right now are no riya and no person right 
right yes no these are the two expressions we did above correct now these two expressions also have another formation which is this ria no person no now the question is where is the verb so verb is be going to be after how are you going to understand this listen very carefully and this rule is applicable only to ria and person not to any other third negative expression when positive expression is in middle or ending basically okay that is what do i mean with this statement okay we will check here here tulmon was in the middle here toothle shows was in the end here calcus shows was in the end okay so whenever the positive expression is in middle or end we use no ria no person but when sentence begins focus on the word begins when the sentence begins with positive expression you are going to use ria no no ria now see to like see the examples very carefully for example samvin says tulmond what do we use with tulmond ria or person no to person everyone no no one person tulmond they la so your answer will be no because positive expression is in the center is in the beginning you are going to write person then you will write na no, which will turn to an apostrophe because the verb is beginning with a vowel no person lela did you get it la there everyone is there no no one is there okay everyone got the formation because tulman was in the beginning we wrote person in the beginning ha uh, tane till now we were using person after the verb right because tulman was in the middle of the sentence but here the sentence is beginning with tulman so we are going to put person in the beginning hmm no that can never happen what will be the use of the question then they will give you a question to write the neg ha ha hmm so tulmon de la but that is interrogation that is not this topic okay so you can write eska ria ila ria ne la nothing is there so you can write oi tutli shows so la or you can write no ria ne la that is on you that how you want to respond to it okay okay now for example just given one more example for example you get a question kelk shows a dola sak something is in the bag so you will reply by saying no ria because it's in the starting ne dola sak everyone got this please tell yes or no okay okay after that the next negative expression that is the third one after this it's going to be very easy because you have understood the first two the next negative expression we have is no nul part nul part basically means nowhere okay so whenever you have a positive expression kelk part that is somewhere or paktu that is everywhere you use in your answer nul part okay for example someone comes to me and asks kyu va kelk part are you going somewhere my answer will be 
no ja na ve nul path no i am not going anywhere okay this is the basic basic structure we have no before the verb nul path after the verb and in the question we had kelka path so the negation of kelka path is nul path after that fourth hmm mm hmm no did you visit everywhere in the world no i have not visited anywhere did you travel everywhere in the world no uh, voyage will be the verb then did you work uh, somewhere no i don't work anywhere any verb can be possible okay after that the fourth expression we have is no jamme this we did when we were doing our adverbs in frequently used adverbs we did jamme so jamme can have a lot of options the first is toujours which means always okay then you can have tolta which is every time basically okay then you can have parfoa which is like mostly or the last you have is suva which is often and all of these if you see any four of these in your question you are going to reply in your answer with the negation jamme okay you get a question tu va ale o mor marche tujur okay now tujur is in the positive expression jamme will come in the answer so no j n v jamme whenever there are two verbs you put the negation in between this is for no pa as well the regular rule no j n v jamme o marche you can also write no jana va o marche jamme that is also possible but again according to the rules this is what suits better to put oh i forgot to put are here to put it uh, after the verb is that clear everyone any doubt in jamme and nul part okay it's just i am telling you more of expressions now the placement is it's going to be same throughout yes to them no i never want to go to the market bulwar is the verb no so jana va after that the next expression we have after jame is na plu okay understand this uh, correctly na plu basically means no more whenever you see that in your question you have encore your answer comes to be no plu so basically your encore means still and no plu means no more so you get a question where it says tu par encore do you still talk tu par encore a pauline do you still talk to pauline and you want to say no i don't talk to pauline i don't i talk to pauline no more basically so you will reply is it has no j no par plu a polin very very basic wherever encore is written just replace it with plu now encore is a a positive expression in this question in the fifth part that we just did but in the sixth part you are going to observe that there is also an expression which is no pas encore and when do we use no pas encore when your positive expression is deja deja means already and pas encore basically means not yet also very very important note only expression 
this is the only expression with pa this is not more of explanation this you will have to learn if encore is the positive expression no plus is the answer and if is deja is the positive expression pas encore is the answer so for example someone asks me a question and says vos etudiez deja pour l'exam just an example did you have you studied already for the exam my answer will come out as no je n'étudie pas encore pour l'exam i'm not writing the full part but yeah okay i have did you study already for your exam no i have not studied yet for my exam any doubt in these two expressions why are the why everyone is not unmuting and quickly replying any doubt okay i can't should there clear okay did there Is there any doubt? <laughs> you are. You are on mute. I am saying, do you have any doubt in these two top in the these two parts? No plus and no pas on call. Is it clear? Ha, so whenever deja is the positive expression, pas encore will be the answer. Okay, so when in the question it's written, vous étudiez deja? Did you study already for your exam? No, I have not studied yet for my exam. Okay. Okay. Now entering the last expression. It has three words now. No. Ni. ni what do we mean by no ni ni this we use when we have two options and how are you going to know that you have two options you will find et in between that is and rule number 2 du de la des Ah, uh, yun. They are removed from the answer. And la, la, le, an apostrophe remains same. Okay, just focus a little bit on its uh, formation. You get a question which says, "Oh." Okay, you get a question which says, "Vous aimez?" Les légumes et les fruits. So you will understand. Okay, we have two options. We have les légumes et les fruits. So I'm going to answer it as no. You can write with je or no. I'm using no. No, no, nemio pa. Nemio, sorry, no nemio. Ni le legume. Ni le fruit. Now I get the same question. Vo mange. de legume e de fruit so i'm going to change it to in the answer i'm going to change it to no 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 
ni legume ni fruit okay now what is the difference between the first question and the second question we will do a quick observation in the first question it was saying vous aimez les fruits les legumes et les fruits i have kept my le part in the first here as well and here as well but here it was saying they they i am not going to write they because the rule says you are only going to keep le la le in your statement whereas your du the la des del apostrophe or yunde is completely going to be removed how did i get to know that i have to use no ni ni because i had the connector et in between you can also have u because it is giving you two options and then you are going to analyze that you have to use no ni ni is there any doubt neither this nor that mm -hmm. why did we use it's the because like in in negation we always keep it it's the it has to be there okay you cannot use the verb a may without the it's not possible so the sentence formation according to the french grammar rules will go wrong if i remove that whereas with other uh, indefinite articles or partitive it's the general rule to change them okay okay now few important rules you have to understand if no above expression is applicable okay you you get you find you don't find anything you don't find two options you don't find deja you don't find uh, encore there is no toujours souvent there is no expositive expression if no above expression is applicable it means it is your basic negation na pa okay because that is also going to be the part of your questions if you don't find any negative expression to be there you are going to use no pa you are going to get two type of questions in your exams okay focus the first will be répond they you will have to respond to them like up all the above examples i did question answer and the second one will be mettez or changez put or change when it's répond they you are going to first write no and then you give your response whereas in your mettez changez you directly change to negative also this is not a rule what i'm just to tell here but it is for your help where i have written dash 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 like any dash dash then expression which means this dash dash is representing the verb and you are going to put the verb there anyone any doubt you will for example i get a question is uh 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 there which says je par toujours they are just asking me to change this to negative so i'll write je ne parle jamais i'm not going to change the ou no ou anything it's going to be the exact statement in the negative form now and you are not going to say no i don't speak i never speak because they are not asking you a question they are just asking you to change the statement to negative okay okay vihan tane or clear okay give me a second 